What is up everyone, my name is FM Sorcerer, and today I will be showing you all some pictures for some new gear and mounts that will be coming out in a future update. So for those of you who do not know, the spring update test room came out today, and usually when King's Hour releases a new test room, they like to put information in the files for other new stuff that they will be adding in a future update. So I'm assuming that most of the things that I'm going to be showing you all today will be coming out in either the summer or fall update of 2017. So I will provide links in the description of where I got these pictures down below, but let's start off with the first picture. So in the first picture, we have seven new mounts called the Cast Symbol Mounts. And these are basically going to be based off of what you see whenever you're casting a spell on your wizard. I think this is definitely an awesome idea for new mounts, and my favorite ones right here are the Balance and Life ones. So I can't wait to have these in-game. Next, King's Isle has come out with a new Rollerblade mount for our wizards, which is actually pretty awesome. You can see in the picture right here that the wizard is standing on them, pretty much like the Winter Glide skates that you get from the Christmas pack. So I think this is pretty cool. Now this mount right here is called the Volpine Avenger, so I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a fox, but don't get me wrong, I really don't know what it is exactly. Definitely does look like a fox though, but it does give 2% pierce as a stat, and it looks like a pretty interesting mount. Finally for the mounts, we have the Penny Farthing, which is basically the same thing as what we have in real life, where it's one large wheel in the front, and then one small wheel in the back, and it's pretty much a bicycle. It was really popular back in the 1800s. I myself wouldn't really use this mount, but it is still pretty unique to have in the game. Now let's move on to the gear. So there's going to be a new pack of the Professor's Horde pack based off of all 7 of the Ravenwood school teachers and their gear that they wear. And they will also have these really nice boots that come in the pack with stats that have set resist to your school. So right here in the first picture you can see the gear that you would get if you were a balance wizard. It pretty much has the same look that Professor Owl has where it has, and the robe is probably the best looking thing in my opinion. Now to the right you can see the stats of the boots that I was talking about where it has 900 health, 10 power pip chance, 10 resist, 4 accuracy, 119 crit, 22 damage, and 5% balance resist, and 3% shadow pip chance. So that's pretty nice, and you can also see that this is level 130 and up, which is a pretty interesting clue to take note of considering the fact that they put this stuff in the files so early when Imperia is supposedly coming out this fall, so that could mean Imperia may have a summer release, we don't know. In this picture we have the fire gear that you would get from the Professor's Sword pack, pretty much looks like what Faumea's stitch is, and I don't really know how I would feel about it on my wizard, but I think that girl wizards would definitely be able to make a pretty unique stitch with the robe and the hairstyle especially, but to the right again you can see the stats from the boost that I was talking about before, Dahlia sweltering shoes, 820 health, 9% power pip chance, 7% resist, 4% accuracy, 124 crit, 26 damage, 4% fire resist, and 3% shadow pip chance, level 130 again, so I think these are really great boots depending on if you need to set to your school. Now here is the storm look for House and Bellstrom scare set. You see his hat has the little lightning bolt symbol on it. I think the hat is definitely the best part of this gear set. I would definitely wear that on my storm. And the stats, like I said, once again, really great for Storm, actually. 790 health, 9% power pip chance, 8 resist, 3% shadow, 6% accuracy, 137 crit, 24 damage, and 4% storm resist. Now finally for the Professor Sword Pack, we have the four other schools, Death, Myth, Life, and Ice right here. Now you currently can't see what it will look like on a wizard, but you can just see basically what the gear will look like themselves. My favorite pieces of gear in this picture would definitely have to be the Death and Myth ones, just because I really like both of the ropes for those. Now in the top left corner, you can also see a new butterfly pet. Not sure what that will come with, but it's glowing green and a little bit of blue. Definitely looks like a pretty cool pet. So finally, I wanted to show you all a new bundle house, some new gauntlet gear, and an interesting new spell. There's going to be a new Avalon themed bundle, and the name of the house is the Outlaw's House. I like this house because it feels really chill, and I like the tree house as well as all the trees that you can see in the background. It really does feel like Avalon. You can see some of the rest of it in these pictures right here, and I especially like the inside of the house, the wallpaper, and just the overall relaxed feel of the house. So now you can see this new gauntlet gear, which is a part of a new Celestian themed bundle. And the reason I wanted to show you all the stats for this gear is because the cards on them are actually pretty interesting. The only thing is that you can't use it in PvP and the stats on the gear aren't really good. But the cards may eventually be trainable, which is why I find it really interesting. So on the hat, you can see that there's a new spell called Dragon Lance, which gives plus 35% damage and plus 10% pierce on the same blade for Universal, which is actually really, really good. 
On the robe and the boots, you can see the new double still ward and double cleanse charm, which will take two things away at the same time. A lot of people have wanted this for a long time, and it now seems like they're starting to put it into the game. Even if the gear that they're putting it on isn't great at first, they may eventually make it non-PvP and trainable, which is what I'm hoping they will do. Lastly, there's going to be a new boss called the Shadow Trickster at some point in a future update, and we might be able to get a spell dropped from it that's called Shadow Trickster. Now you can see right here on the spell's description, it says Trick 1, plus 60% critical, minus 30% crit block. Now the most interesting thing about this spell is definitely Trick 1, because we don't know what that means, what it could do. It might add some kind of whole new mechanic, maybe it's a trick magic, maybe it's a subcategory to Shadow, no idea, or it could just be a, a placeholder for the spell. But this is definitely interesting. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I will have some new theories coming sometime this week, so keep your eye out for that. Let's try and hit 30 to 35 likes on this video, and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one. Peace. My mother told me that the world has got its plans. I want to hold them till they burn right through my hands Don't ask me questions